another breezy sunny day here in Arizona. It's getting really, really windy. Oh my goodness. So anyway, where are we? Litchfield Park, Arizona. Allen Ranch is at the subdivision and the builder, Taylor Morrison. We have two absolutely gorgeous homes. But what's special about this subdivision here in the gated community for the Taylor Morrison, these homes right here all have RV garages. There's just no getting away from it. It comes with an RV garage. I absolutely love this single story home right here. Not only is it single story, which I tend to favor, it has a three and a half car garage, an RV garage, and it's around a little over 2,300 square feet, but it feels so much larger and so much spacious. You will notice that when we go in. If you're wanting and needing a two story right over here, four car garage, an RV garage, and lots of space, almost 2,700 square feet, and the footprint in the backyard, you have a big, big backyard, because as you know, with a two story, all your, all your footprint and your square footage stacks on top of one another. So two beautiful homes, two story, single story. So again, we are in Litchfield Park, Taylor Morrison is the builder. Allen Ranches is the subdivision. Let's not waste any more of your time. Let's just go ahead and show you before the wind blows me away. Come on, let's go. Alrighty, so here is house number one. And of course, with an RV garage, they all come with an RV garage. It is, you can have it with three to four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a three and a half car garage. Also has a flex room back back there, <laughs> in there. <laughs> so um, let's go check it out. And again, uh, Taylor Morrison here in Allen Ranches. So it says, come on in, so let's go on in. Alrighty now, how about that? Nice wide hallways, I absolutely love that. And I know I always say that, but when it, I can point it out, I like to point it out. So we're standing right in front of the front door. We are going to turn directly to the right and it brings us into the first guest bedroom. Has a window open to the front yard, has their own private bathroom right here. Very nice. Back up here so you can see the bedroom a little better. It has a slider door closet, as you can see. And this is bedroom number one, guest bedroom number one. So we're going to leave this one, has a little counter space there, which is nice. So right there's front door. And we're gonna continue on walking in. And this is what they're calling the flex room. I'll back up so you can see it a little better. Nice size. I'm sure you can make that into a bedroom if you needed it. And that's where your fourth bedroom. If you don't need a fourth bedroom, you wanna use this as an office, a uh, game room, a teen room, a movie room, a computer room. Well, there you have it right here. Very nice size room. So as we continue to walk down, we're going to come into the next guest bedroom. It has a window to the side of the yard, to the side of the house, and it also has slider door closets. Give you another look of the room. And the right next to it is the bathroom. Single sink tub and shower combination. I'll show it to you right here, right there. And then out we go. And another little cabinet space here, just like the other one had it as well, which is kind of nice. Right across the hallway, we're gonna walk into your favorite room right there. There's the garage door entrance. And here's your favorite all time room is the laundry room. This is definitely not my favorite room, but it might be yours. <laughs> So mosey on down the hall. We have a closet right here. I'm going to, yep, guess that is the coat closet. Continuing on down, opens right up to the kitchen, the family room, and this nice large dining area. It's a very nice and spacious, but I'm gonna swing back around to the left and let you take it all in right here. And again, it is 2392 square feet. So just under 2400 square feet. Take you into the kitchen. Look how long that counter is, the island is. It's big. Here's your pantry. I'll take it looking at before I forget. Nice size walk in pantry. Okay. And again, another nice look at that long island right there. 
comfortably seats four, could put five or more. They have stainless steel appliances, a gas stovetop and oven, lots of cabinets, lots of counter space. I'll give you a look from the kitchen into the family room and I'll zoom it in for you a little bit. There you go. And if I turn to the right, there is your dining room right there. See, open and spacious, windows around it. It's not crowded by any means. So whether you want to use a round table like they have or your rectangle or a square, it would definitely fit nicely. And I'll back back out for, that's the reality. That's the perfect picture of it. Swing back over to the left. There is your family room. I'll go into the family room and give you a look at that and then swing back and let you look at the kitchen. You have a slider door, glass top here, which allows a lot of the sunlight to come in, bring a lots of natural light in. So here's the look back into the kitchen and I'll zoom in for you. There you go. Nice, open, spacious. Back out, there we go. Then I'm gonna to wanna to walk you into the dining room area so you can get an idea how nice and open, that is pretty big. Some of those that we have seen in the past, if you have been on my other videos, sometimes it's a little cramped in here, but it's always nice when you see it and it's nice and open and spacious. So we're gonna swing back around to the kitchen, give you a look, and then I'm gonna take you into the primary bedroom. Again, here's some cabinet and counter space. Each of the bedrooms has that, which is kind of nice. So we're gonna walk into the primary bedroom, walk past the bathroom, and here is the bedroom. Of course, the window opens up to your backyard. Nice. Two windows here. Here you go, backyard. Very nice. I'll walk you into the bathroom. Double sinks and they are together. They're not split, but it's very nice. No, nice space between it. Nice walk-in shower. It's not as big as many of the huge ones, but do you really need one that big? Let me get to a better picture of it here. There you go. This is your linen closet. I'll open it so you can see. Linen closet. This is water closet there. And this is your walk-in clothes closet. Wow. You know, you very seldom see builders put that other shelf up there, which is nice because you can put things up there that you uh, need extra space for. I know I would use it. This is nice. I'll give you another look at it. Hang on up back up here for you. Very nice, so walking out of the shower. Hello! <laughs> here is, yeah, we gotta step out of the way for you. All right, try. There's your vanity. Nice size vanity. Walking out and then coming back, there's your counter space again. Walks you right into the kitchen. Open, spacious, light and bright, mainly because it's white, but this whole area is very open. It's only square footage here, 2392. Only 2400 square feet, but it feels so much larger. Okay, so I'm going to take you out to the backyard. I'm gonna swing you around here. There we go, we'll go step outside. And we have, nice thing about this, you have two patios. And I'll back up so you can see it. Look, so here's one patio, covered patio section here. And then here's another one. It's nice, sort of like in an L shape. And then you have all this yard right here. It, the yard is really large. They have, you know, the um, barbecue grill, the seating area, they have artificial turf, which means no mowing, no, no watering, low maintenance. Um, I'll go to the back of the lot so that you can see just how big it is. Isn't that nice? And look at the side yard. It's not itsy bitsy, you know? It's not like, you know, two feet away is your brick wall, which is not. 
which I have seen many of them like that. So lots of space right here. Nice, open, spacious backyard as well. If you wanted to put a pool back here, you definitely have a lot of room to put a pool back here and then still have ample room to have a nice yard if you want to come out and sit out here. You have four-legged kids, you know, your dog, your cat, whatever. But look at, you know, I love the patio. You have not just a little patio, you have two sections of a patio. That's fantastic. I'm going to take you back in and I'm going to give you a recap of this home. Let me close the door here for you. <laughs> for you since you're not here. <laughs> okay, the recap on this one. This is model 55-RV2. Taylor Morrison always gives them numbers. So this is one story, as you know, it can be either three or four bedrooms, three baths, and a three and a half car garage. It is 2392 square feet. Starting price is 553,990. So just a scoot under 554, $554,000. And don't forget, that's depending on how many upgrades you put into the home, a premium lot, a standard lot, and all the bells and whistles that you decide you want to add on. But even so, $554,000 for this, when it feels so much larger, just absolutely beautiful. Okie dokie, so here is the RV garage. Nice and spacious right here. There's the entrance from your front door right here. Front door, <laughs> from your driveway. And I'm gonna back up so you see it, how big it is, because it is very large. Look how big that is. So this one comes with a three and a half car garage and an RV garage. So bring your toys, whether you have um, antique cars, classic cars, uh, razors, off-road vehicles, whatever it is you're wanting and needing and you need extra space, this home definitely has it for you and you're definitely gonna need help, so make sure you reach out to us. Okay, so here it comes, just for you, for the benefit of you, benefit for you, your FYI. Just in case you've never been here before, I'm going to let you know, for the benefit of you and your FYI for today, remember, remember, remember. Did I say remember? Remember. And remember to always, 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 did I say always, always bring your realtor, bring us with you when you go into any new build. Why? Because as nice as the agent is inside, and they will be very nice to you, they represent the seller slash builder. Not you, the seller and the builder. And you want somebody who's gonna be watching your back from beginning to end and everything in between. And that is exactly what we will do for you. It's called exclusive representation. And that's what you deserve and that's what you need. Somebody watching out just for you and your family, not somebody representing the builder and you, just you. So make sure you reach out to us so we can help you navigate the road to home ownership. Alrighty, so here is the next house. It is our, not our, wait a minute. So here's the next house, 55RV3. 2636 square feet and you can see it is a two-story home and it comes with an RV garage all these homes in this subdivision area come with an RV garage this has three to five bedrooms two and a half to three bathrooms and a four-car garage four-car garage and an RV garage and it's 26 26 square feet and the price point starts right at 565 990 so just a scooch under 566 so let's go on in and again as you might already know this is taylor morrison and we are in allen ranches so let's go in to show you this big beautiful gorgeous home Alrighty now there we go how about that so this is the entryway from the door i'm going to quickly turn to the left and this opens up your office with a front window but you can make this whatever. You don't need an office. You wanna use it as a flex room, game room, computer room, a library room, whatever room you want, it, it, you can use it. It's a very nice size room right here. And as we can come out of that, we're gonna turn down here. This is where your um, guest bathroom is. And then right here is your coat closet. So front door, office, swing back around. We're gonna walk right into the kitchen and family room area. I guess you, guess you get a look at that. Let you take it in here.
Different cover, colored cabinets for sure. I think I like the other one better, but that's that can always be changed. If you're gonna build from the ground up, you can definitely change it. You can have a quick move in, spec, or a ground up home. But here's your lovely kitchen. Stainless steel appliances, gas stove top, nice long kitchen island. And then here's your pantry. I will show that to you so you can get an idea of what that looks like in there. There you go. Back out of the pantry. And here's the look from your kitchen. Right here, let me zoom it in for you a little bit. There you go. So that's your family room. And we glance over to the right. That's your dining. So your dining is going to be very close by where in the other model home, it was further away. But this is a totally different floor plan. This is all uh, two story. The other one was single story. So there you have it. And right over here, if I had to guess, this is going to be your Harry Potter closet. So let's go take a look here. Yep, there's your Harry Potter closet. It goes down there and it over and then to the right. So you got a lot of space there to put some stuff out here. I'm gonna, oh, I wanna take you into the family room. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want you to be able to look back at the kitchen, dining, and then outside. I wanna take you into this other room over here to show you this. Garage door entrance. And this is where, you know, you can drop off whatever it is you want. You can make this room whatever you want to. And then I'll take you into the garage door a little bit later. But here's your dining into your family room, a lot of windows, and then your kitchen. Give you another look at the kitchen before we head upstairs. So let's go up. So just to recap, downstairs we just have the office. Upstairs are all the bedrooms, so I'll meet you upstairs. Alrighty, so we're upstairs, and this is your loft area, which is nice and spacious and open. Lots of cabinet spaces up here. There you go. So we're gonna circle around here. Here is guest bedroom number one. It has a window to the side of the house and two windows to the front of the house. And it has a slider door closet. Coming out of this brings you right into the loft area. Right here. I'll back up so you can see it. It's not super small, but it's not super big either. It's kind of cozy. <laughs> I'll just say it's a cozy loft. Here is guest bedroom number two. And this one also has slider door closets. Back, ouch, back this up. <laughs> and again, here's the loft. Swing around. Stairs to go downstairs. And right here, Laundry room. Out here is the guest bathroom for the two bedrooms. There's the vanity. Hello. <laughs> Here's water closet and the uh, tub and shower combination. I'll back up so you can see the vanity a little bit better without me in the picture. If that's any better. Maybe not. Let me do it this way for you. So you get a better picture of it. There you go. Two sinks is always helpful. So now let's go into the primary bedroom. Right here. There you go. It's nice and it's open and it's spacious. Take you into the bathroom. Nice long counters, double sinks, not split, but together, which is nice. They have a nice long shower. It, I will say, um, the way they're presenting this, it's not upgraded by any means. It's just a standard shower, which isn't bad. I mean, you have a bench right there, shower here, one shower head there, and you can upgrade it to whatever you want it to. But the model here just shows it as a standard model, a standard shower, but it's not bad. If you're wanting to uh, get into something like this, you want to keep costs down, there's one way to go. Here's the vanity. Let me go take you in. Here's your water closet. And then here is your clothes closet. 
There you go. There. Not bad. Nice size. Then there's another look of at your vanity. Let me give you a look of some. There's your linen closet right there. Very nice. That's very nice counters. And then back into the primary bedroom, which is open and spacious. And again, this is 26, 26 square feet. A little over 2,600 square feet. There's your loft. So you have three bedrooms up here, two guest bedrooms and the master, or the primary bedroom. And then downstairs you have the office, but you can turn that into a bedroom if you want. And you said, you know, it could go up to five bedrooms. You could get rid of this and turn it into a bedroom. And then you'd have three guest bedrooms up here sharing the, the one bathroom. So if that's something that you need or want, that's, that's something you can do. So let's head on downstairs and I shall meet you downstairs. Alrighty, so down here, downstairs, front door, I'll give you a little recap here. Front door here, there's your office, which can be a bedroom if you want it to be, you, if you need that, or if you need it to be a bedroom, a flex room, a teen room, whatever it is you want, there you go. Walks you right into the kitchen, dining, and then the family room. Now I will take you out if the door allows me to go out there because sometimes when they have a pool, they don't let you, but let me just try it. Oh, yep, they will. It's hard to open, but yeah. So another open spacious lot, very large lot. And it just, just goes to show you, if you want to have a pool, how much yard you would have left. Look at that. I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk around so you can see how much yard you would have left. And just to give you a little reminder, this is a two story, right? And if you had the single story at one level, it's which is right there, it comes out more on your yard, which is right here. And that's why this yard appears so much larger than the other one is because it's a two story. The footprint goes up and not out. And I know you probably know that, but I would just like to give you a little reminder on that. But I'm going to the back corner of the lot so you can see how big this is having the two-story. Open and spacious and huge. There you go. Very, very, very nice. I'll take you inside so that you can get a recap which i will give that to you inside and also a, a nice covered patio let me show you the patio again i was focusing so much on the backyard but you have a nice covered patio Oh, you know what I wanted to do if I get into the garage? I wanted to show you the garage as for the RV if they don't have it locked. And they have it locked, so uh, sorry about that. So the recap on this home. Let me give you the recap and give you all the information. So this is 55RV3. That's the name of the model. And it is a two-story, obviously. You can have it in three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms a four car garage and an RV garage. You get the square footage is 2626 and the starting price on this is 565,990. So just a scooch under 566, $566,000. Of course, it's gonna depend how many upgrades you have. You have a premium lot, a standard lot and whatever else you wanna add on to it to bring it up to whatever price that you decide you want to have it and whatever you're comfortable with. And again, we are in Allen Ranches, Taylor Morrison, and we are out here in Litchfield Park. So what do you think of those two homes? Just beautiful homes by Taylor Morrison out here at Allen Ranches. The single story home was absolutely nice. Just a little over 2,300 square feet. But as you walk through it, it was so much larger, or at least it felt larger. And as far as this two story home, very, very nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Whatever you're wanting, dreaming, and needing, we can definitely help you find that. 
All you have to do is reach out and below is our, all our information. HOA out here is $228 a month. What do you get for $228 a month? You get a, you get a pool, you get bar barbecue courts, <laughs> you get basketball cards, barbecue ramadas. You get a little bit of everything out here for $228 plus. It's a gated community out here. Very nice. Again, Allen Ranches. The builder is Taylor Morrison. They do have lender specials, but obviously they are, they do have lender specials and they're always changing. So make sure you give us a call and we will get the up to date lender specials. They have buy downs, they have rate fixes. They have a variety of options available for you, depending on what you're wanting and needing and the type of house you want. Uh, so make sure you reach out. You're definitely going to need help with that. If this is your first time to the channel, well, welcome. My name is Mary Kay Marino and welcome to Hello Arizona Living and Real Estate. We get calls, texts, and emails almost every day from people just like you looking for help to make a look, move to Arizona. Or maybe you're already here in Arizona and you just want to make another move to another part of Arizona. Whatever it is and whatever your time frame is, we are always happy and delighted to help you. So call, text, or email us, and we will help you navigate that road to home ownership. Whether it's days, weeks, months, or years, it doesn't matter what your time frame is, we are here to help serve and support you at the highest level possible. There are many other homes and many other builders in Allen Ranches, so if this builder is not exactly what you're looking for, or if RV garage homes are not what you're wanting, make sure you check out the other videos I did for the Allen Ranches area. And like I always say, until I see you around town next time, show you around town next time. You have a marvelous, awesome day. See you next time and bye for now.